This video is review of the Telstra Smart Wi-Fi Generation 2 boosters set up as access point with a booster's Ethernet port connected to a LAN port of a non-compatible modem or router. To set up booster turn on booster and wait for front light to turn red, then connect booster's Ethernet port to a LAN port of router or modem and wait for front light to turn solid blue. This takes about a minute so have speeded this section up. Once light has turned solid blue booster is connected and ready to use. To connect directly to booster use the Wi-Fi name and password written on bottom of booster. Before using the booster I will log into booster using the login details written on the label on the bottom of the booster and change its Wi-Fi name and password to match that of the main modem so that devices will automatically connect to the access point with the strongest signal. After saving changes booster reboots. This takes about 2 minutes. Next I will use a Wi-Fi analyzer app and check that the booster and modem are not using the same Wi-Fi channels. If same channels are used this will cause interference and reduce Wi-Fi performance. I next checked Wi-Fi coverage using the Telstra Home Dashboard app. This shows very little improvement in the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band, but a large improvement in the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band's coverage. Next the speed in the area with poorest Wi-Fi coverage was measured to an iPerf 3 server connected to one of the modem's LAN ports. The test device was a Samsung Galaxy S9. The booster doubled the 5 GHz Wi-Fi upload speed and increased the 5 GHz download speed by 30%. There was only a slight improvement in the speed of the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band. Next measurements were taken of the internet speed with and without booster of a Samsung Galaxy S9 close to modem and in room with worst coverage. These measurements indicated a 15% increase in speed on 5 GHz Wi-Fi band and a 25% increase in speed on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band. The Wi-Fi performance also depends on the Wi-Fi performance of the device. The next set of results are from a laptop with a dealing DWA182AC1200 Wi-Fi adapter. The results were measured in room with least coverage with and without booster. The results indicate the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band speed is more than doubled and the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi speed is almost doubled when booster is used.